Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Bakke. You'll remember Governor Tim Walz gave the green light for schools to reopen back in December if the schools felt confident enough to maintain a healthy environment. CBS 3's Leanne Valdez shares what Leicester Park Elementary School is doing to prevent the spread of COVID-19. After a whirlwind of a school year. I think this has been one of the one of the hardest things that education has faced. Duluth Elementary students pre-K through second grade were greeted with some normalcy Monday. I'm really excited for the first day of, of uh, full in person. One by one, children were seen getting dropped off by parents, buses or walking to school. Superintendent of Duluth Public Schools John Magus helped with safely guiding students across the street. Magus says the school has been working on a pandemic plan since summertime. So there's been a lot of work done. The district's goal is to first and foremost keep children safe. We try and keep the students potted together so that they stay within their same uh, social group. Children in the same social group must stay three feet away from each other and six feet away from teachers at all times. School officials will also clean as much as possible. Wiping down our high touch areas, uh, making sure that we're going through with, with uh, deeper cleaning every night. Students and teachers must also wear masks. Magas stressed how important it is to have elementary students learning in the classroom. There are uh, students who are, you know, slipping through the cracks and not, not engaging in learning. And it's especially hard for the youngest of our learners. We're so excited you're back. Kindergarten parent Patrick Moore agrees. It's good for him to get to go back and socialize and Moore's son, Bridger, attended a school focused on nature-based criteria, but Moore says it was tough to keep up with distance learning. Kind of wanted to get back in the classroom too. And Moore says, of course, he has concerns, but trusts he's in good hands. The school district has done so much to ease those concerns, and Bridger is ready to start kindergarten, huh? Duluth students in third through fifth grade will return to school on February 8th. Middle and high schoolers are still distance learning as recommended by the state. Meanwhile, Minnesota education leaders unveiled a new plan today aimed at helping students recover after falling behind during the pandemic and closing the opportunity gap. The plan is called Do North. It includes prioritizing in-person learning for as many kids as possible and retaining teachers, especially ones from different cultures and backgrounds. The plan also aims to stop racism in the classroom, make sure all schools get the funding they truly need. Governor Wall says the pandemic has only made these problems worse. And while it might be easy to say, well, we can't do much now, we're focused on COVID, we don't have the resources, and to turn back in, that would be exactly the wrong solution. So. We'll take a closer look at the priorities and what research played a role in forming this new plan coming up tonight at 6. We will also hear what state Republicans have to say.